I guess, to everyone, each other from Poisoned Rock. And after one year, this time we will be like one interview per year. We, we give a welcome back to Aspen Winter. I just like to say Aspen Winter in general. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm a little bit older, but still fine. <laughs> I'm older too. What is it? No, we are differently old or younger. <laughs> still young, but old. Exactly. Exactly. First, like I was saying, congratulations for Dodor Stuff, the, the new release of Eldrim finally saw the light. I mean, let's say, saw the light out, but saw the dark, we can say. <laughs> yes, <laughs> finally out in the dark. <laughs> out in the dark. Yeah, and listen all, literally, I have to admit, I listen uh, all today, like, without stopping. And uh, it's quite of a, it's not tough, it's dark, really dark, with respect to uh, Kvile. Mm. Vila has a little bit of darkness too, but there's a little bit of a bittersweet, bittersweetness. Mm. While um, the other stuff is more, I mean, I want to call it dark folk. I don't like, you know, this term, uh, dark folk, if I can mm. call it too much. But it's Just melan- call it whatever you want. Le- there is melancholia, there is nostalgic, there is uh, darkness, there is a uh, shadow, and there is something that will call me to the medieval area too. Like especially the the title track, there is a different vibe. It's not, uh, let's say, more centered into the ancient, you know, the early stage of sound. Maybe it's the flute. I don't know. It remind me the mm. early stage of the music of the um, medieval music, and uh, yeah, maybe- as well, the theme of of uh, I used to know, the, the theme of death was recurring a lot in the medieval times. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Because people album. died from. People died from uh, almost anything. You can get a little wooden uh, pin in your finger, you could die. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But the, of course, I, it came spontaneous to me to just uh, ask, first of all, uh, as you're, of course, we can say that this is a kind of a new turning point for Eldrim. There are new members in the band. So we want to introduce them as well because I think it's important <laughs> for you. Mm, yeah. Uh, our drummer is uh, called Tarje, Tarje Mentijarvi. He is also making instruments. He's actually the only one I know educated in Germany. Okay. Uh, instrument maker. Uh, and he's uh, yeah, he, he's all too happy to be in a him, but it's uh, okay because <laughs> he's so small, so we can <laughs> we can. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but I think I thought it's coming. <laughs> when he's too happy, we just throw him in the back. <laughs> <laughs> because you have to be all serious and sad. <laughs> so. And uh, Paul is uh, he's playing the lyre and uh, and uh, some keys. Yeah, I heard that too. Uh, he is uh, he is a fabulous person. He is like a catalyst when uh, things get hot. He keeps every point a little less pointy and the valleys a little like shallower. A, so let's say uh, like he, he is the judge in the marriage. He's <laughs> he's a really good guy. That's good because I mean I'm happy to see that because many people, as you might notice by now, since uh, because the album was released in August, since uh, two months, kind of two months and a half something, mm-hmm. the album has been released. You saw the people were like, "Oh, finally, we're happy to see that uh, there is new material from Eldream," and of course, it's beautiful to see. But I have a special uh, addiction to Kvile. Was the first album that released in the folk music in everything mm-hmm. in my life. I remember. I don't know who was sponsoris, sponsorizing that album. but was the first album, even before knowing who, mid, what Miguel Plot was. Uh, I mm. that album and Raum. I would mm. I'm, I'm sorry. That's my song forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, but it's it's a beautiful song, and it, uh, yeah. it it's the most listened to uh, uh, at the Spotify. So it's popular. People like but, it. Yeah, but now I think that the, the other stuff, the other stuff, uh, it's a really a beautiful song because there is something different in this song. You know, the album first I noticed. And uh, even from the first, like from Kivila, is a, there's a kind of, everyone is singing. It's like a, I don't want a sad gathering. Let's call it like that, a sad gathering. <laughs> of, 
so yeah i mean of course the theme is there with no it's sad it's a uh, dark obscure but in your own maybe of course the word to you what is the main idea you had behind the composing of uh, and the writing process especially of uh, the other stuff of that song in general no, in general not the album, not the album. Uh, this time it's more one and one okay. song. Okay. Vila is the long story, yeah. uh, while Davdashtev is uh, nine small stories. Okay. Uh, st still connected in a way, because uh, a couple of songs is about uh, not placing yourself higher uh, than other people. Yeah, so many people are higher than other people. They believe, yeah. Yeah, and uh, and uh, we have the so uh, Ahmad that Hild uh, is singing is for her. It's a lullaby for her daughter, and uh, it's 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 quite diverse in in the small stories, and that that they have the song is. Uh, I was because all the small communities yeah. uh, a thousand years ago they were uh, yeah. when a disease came to visit a small community it could kill the whole community or it could kill very important people in the community yeah. so it will have really big impact on uh, yes. on uh, everyday life so it's about uh, yeah, it's about making a figure of figure of death coming to visit uh, and gather in the dying yeah people that are dying. That's the if you yeah. if you've seen the cover. Of, yeah, uh, I, I, I've seen the album. cover, and I want and I want to 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 even say that because I saw the interview, and it's nice to say as well. Uh, that, that is the, yeah. that figure is uh, uh, kind of death, uh, and he is walking around and with his lyre on his back, and he's playing the playing the souls into his instrument. So his instrument is full of sorrow. And souls and sorrow and yeah. death and yeah it's kind of yeah because um there's a i think uh, there's something i don't <clears throat> i don't want to be say too much but uh, in my reminiscence of uh, greek history there could be something about uh, um in greek history about uh, the, this uh, the instrument uh, some some mm -hmm. god or something i remember i don't want to say wrong uh, for people that are bad, better informed than me in greek history they can do that they connect the lyre itself or the instrument or some god that playing the instrument for the death like mm. um for, for for the pain for the disease for the death so there's kind of folklore let's say historical folklore in that too but not folk folklore this is too different yeah. <laughs> i'm making a manifesto against folk, folklore <laughs> so that's but that's a, a tough topic i mean that's a not easy topic to talk about it's uh while I was listening, I was just always listening to the beautiful um, How You Play Tagalarpa really slow and I was seeing my Tagalarpa almost throwing out of the, 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 the balcony because it's uh, <laughs> it's relaxing, but it's uh, melancholic, but it's relaxing. Mm. So that's, that's what I felt. That's sad, okay, but the meaning is deep and it's really tough. For you was really, uh, for how was we writing for all of you as, because of course it's not uh, like okay let's sit here and talk about that yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, when I write uh, lyrics I often get a movie rolling oh. in my head and I get a little short story starting with just maybe a, a word or a sentence or or a little Okay. some sort of idea and I try to place my mentality back and how how would my mentality work okay so coming back in ancient times yeah when you didn't have any doctors or no. remedies to help you through no. uh, sickness and diseases and death 
sometimes you didn't have even a natural remedy if you were re living in a rural area of the world yeah. you I didn't have the, the knowledge of having herbal remedies or someone with that knowledge you were mm -hmm. nothing just uh, despair <laughs> and, and, this, and that's it and uh, all these uh, because of course like you said like you were almost like picturing like uh, yourself in those time or making a movie there was something around you there could be even like i don't know some poetry something that influenced you to to pursue this uh, death uh, topic i think i have uh, uh, quite the dark uh, side Okay. And I think I will, I, because I have a way to get all the darkness out through music, uh, I I can keep my sanity and Is it hitting? be happy because I'm, I'm usually really happy. It's but a... through music. I, 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 I used to music as, as a capitalist to get all yeah. the shit out. Because as well, like there is uh, the other side of Aspen is that uh, the the rocker, <laughs> we have as well. Yeah. So how these two Aspen live together? The rocker, <laughs> the lover of the the the, the kiss and the the the, the hard rock. <laughs> and... Well, I I think they all come together in the melancholy. Okay. Because because uh, all the music I listen to have that same darkness in some way Way, yeah uh if it's uh like these guys they're <laughs> quite local dwell dwell they everybody they are doom they they are slow and dark and doom really did you ever think about uh, having a doom project it's a, this is doom uh, if if i should play metal again I think in Doom would be. Uh... That, yeah, that's what we're thinking. Like, uh, yeah. because uh, even um, like you were saying, like even uh, if you listen, like there is a uh, because of course you're in Andrew, okay, but you, you have your own music that uh, we talk about. So people go to check out the other interview. You have your own music, which is a uh, uh, always. Uh, I think there is the atmospheric is mainly the and uh, melancholic atmospheric. It's a bigger, let's say, um, a scenario where to look at. But it applies also in the your photography. There's I noticed that as well. It's a strong and uh, dark. It's not like uh, the happy photo in the wood with vintage styles <laughs> from the size sixties apply from uh, Picasso or something. So all these uh, you've uh, it's only the music that let's say the catalyst for letting. The, let's say the darkness get out of you or you go throughout as well like for example the photography or the crafting because all these this this is being an artist 300 360 degrees i'm uh, i'm i think i'm quite blessed because i i haven't been bored for a second in my life <laughs> i've always <laughs> always had something to do or think i i can sit for two hours just, just thinking yeah. and uh, I don't know what being bored is I don't know boredom that's that's a blessing really yeah lucky you yeah because like I said your photography is uh talks a lot itself and we talk about I remember that you mentioned me that one of the first important photos was the one of uh, Benny Benny Broughton but in general, like because uh, I think it's important as well connect as art to the photography to the music because it express itself because you to, you you every photo there is a I can recognize your photos they are beautiful and uh, <laughs> in fact I, I one day I have to we have to find I don't know where some festival even not festival I need your photos you are that that's the perfect uh, balance between um, let's say darkness and light but express really strong and i want to ask you because i always ask you know what is your equipment about uh, your gear about music about your actual equipment as a what do you like to shoot man with is a mirrorless is still a reflex is still an old camera uh i use uh, still mirror 
Mirror? I, I, yeah. No, I, I use mirror. I, I will have a, a system camera with the mirror. Okay, and uh, of course, uh, and I like the I like the sound when the mirror slaps. So. Yeah, yeah, because now <laughs> and, I, and I like I like the weight. Yeah, it's uh, you know it's uh, so now the stop to do the reflex, unfortunately, because they were quite good, and there are these mirrorless, but at least uh, they are light and uh, for the beginners, and that uh, is mm. good. But and I like I like to see through the glass when I shoot. Yeah, I don't want I don't no, want to no. watch. Uh, screen and still even though they have a uh, ocular yeah uh, you still see the screen you don't see through the glass so okay. i want I, I like seeing through the glass and you never take any any lesson of photography you just started the, it just be you like it's your autodidact yeah autodidact something like that yeah i i i don't think i would be a read a very good student because <laughs> uh, <I>, yeah <laughs> no yeah. one can teach me no one can teach me this is how you should do it so I don't like people telling me how what to do it's the artist uh, way of being otherwise <laughs> From, maybe <laughs> and of course like because of course like I said photography is important but of course you pull up, you publish album uh, you um, craft your own uh, instrument but did you ever think about doing a if, like even a, an exhibition of your photo, or I don't know if you did it already. I, I have, but not really. It, okay. it was just uh, some random place to put my photos for a while. It wasn't really an exhibition. So it would be cool, like to see as well that with your music too. Yeah, uh, but it takes time to. Okay. To choose fifty photos, it, it will take a week to choose from <laughs> all the all the ones I have, and uh, you have to print them all out. And now nah, oh, it's, it's too much. It, uh, too much work. It's too much. And uh, right now, I have uh, more than enough with making music and uh, and uh, instruments. Yeah, I saw that you were building something today with all the click like I put it together. Yeah, I'm making a lure. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you never I, did. I thought, I thought when, I, when uh, every morning I wake up, I push the button on my coffee machine and I go to the toilet and fix some <laughs> things and uh, start to craft. And I go, go up in my workshop with the coffee. And, and it just starts put, on the, put on the radio and uh and and I saw it was something I saw on Facebook. At least I I don't know why, but I decided, oh, maybe I should try to make a uh, loot. <laughs> so we'll see how it ends. <laughs> good. I know good. You have this skill. <laughs> if because uh, did you ever I mean because of course like I can imagine like because you craft your own instrument, but did you ever thought about like maybe a try other instrument of someone else? Because I uh, I don't know I don't know about uh, uh, because always you know there is these things about spirit energy and connection with the what you create and what you build and you play yourself instead of playing that the craft of someone else. Did you ever think about it? Or uh, I'm not sure. I'm good. You you dropped out for a couple of seconds. But, okay, so uh, I, I said that if you ever, because uh, about the um, the energy when you craft your own instrument, there is you in the in that instrument. Like there is your energy, there is your passion, and then you play it. If, mm -hmm. if you ever played live with someone, I don't know, an instrument, or I don't know, it's like a harp, a drum, someone, someone crafted by someone else, I think. Mm. Uh, yeah, by, by Thomas, who played in that game. <laughs> Which is always the same family. <laughs> so the energy is the same. So let's say that it, it wouldn't be the same energy without someone else's <laughs> Because I want to craft your own instrument, kind of. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, also the first song on the new album, I play yeah. the Allure. Yeah. And that's made by, I don't know who made it. I bought it in a flea market or something 
So, so you did. <laughs> But in all, uh, coming back a little bit in the album, because like you're saying, there are in this album, I think one of the most important things to mel to like uh, underline is that there you can see really the vocal skill of Yilda. There are really good. I mean, it's a uh, I was I was really kind of I mean I knew that already she's a beautiful beautiful song, but she and she got the chance to perform. Because I was at Minkers, but as always, I've never been. But she performed live. You performed live the album at Minkers, so she had yeah, a... most of the album. Yeah. yeah, so I think people were. How did it go? Make me dream about Minkers protests every year. How did it go this year? Uh, also, uh, as every year is the this Amazing. is the best festival. So uh, I'm I'm like, yeah, why should I go to any other festival? Because. Midgarsbrot is the most cozy and warm and and you are close to home plus so. yeah I'm close to home <laughs> 20 minutes from home <laughs> now uh, Midgarsbrot is a really good festival uh, all the people all the everybody there is just happy that's the main thing and just uh, like you said to me once like uh, Shout said to me once like Runa said to me once I can keep on going with stuff <laughs> when you come we you'll be there take myself my, leave it home and come like as, as a new person take all your leave all your problem <laughs> behind and just focus yeah. and be there. that's all <laughs> yeah i still have to feel it's not many about to see the lineup of the band which is okay, okay. but it's to living that's living the the, the the atmosphere living every moment as it was new yeah i don't go there for uh, for the music at all yeah. yes except for our own music, uh, I play with Folk Borta for Nora Vin and with Eldrim. So, uh, and I've, we've been there every year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I was going it, on. It, yeah. It, it's an it, addiction. <laughs> Midgard is an addiction. <laughs> you know, you know, people came from all, really all over the world. So there yeah. is no people coming just from Europe, people even from Australia. So it means something. After all this year, it means yeah. something. And with the year, is going even almost... Uh, is the 15th, 15th anniversary? It was the 15th this year. This year. So in 2025, it's the 16th. Yeah. See, it's already almost close to the 20 years of edition. So getting closer. <laughs> the time oh, goes by. The time goes by. <laughs> because the years, they forever. Yeah, the years disappear. <laughs> no wonder my beard is white. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry no in worst case we can put extension <laughs> <laughs> and um, then of course like as well like you mentioned Falket. i was going on with Falket. there's something new bowling on the pot because i saw something we do a bunny and uh, but, like what's going on in here yeah we are um, making music okay so so there's something new coming from also that so really you don't the rest, uh, no, no rest for the weekend, they say. But they can say no rest for the melancholic weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we are making music and uh, probably we'll start recording. We have made some demos just to, okay. to listen to what we, are, what we are doing. And we're planning a little bit ahead how to do things, what instrument to bring. Okay. Uh, and yeah, but you you should talk to Benny. I already <laughs> did it. We have to do an update mm -hmm. and an, an updating too because I yeah. have next week an updating uh, if, uh, with the shell. We are like any interview mm -hmm. with shell, so never ending. I always <laughs> it's always like a every year at least twi twice per year. It, it's a must. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for Jonas too, so it's always Runa Hill. Kathy Ran, Kathy Ran is doing, she did a good album this year too, Kathy Ran. So there is a good music, uh, Nodwin. I found out this new band from Finland, Nodwin. Never heard in my life, but they were mm -hmm. amazing from Finland, Nodwin. Really folk, uh, it's a really folklore about the, ke, ke, I forgot, uh, Kela, Kalevala, Kalevala, the traditional uh, mythology of Finland. It's really interesting. Mm -hmm. and, and, they, and they craft their own instrument too. It's a beautiful, uh, the, 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 it's a, it's a, there, you know, when people keep their traditional life, but not always with the same uh, 
fantasy mythology, it's beautiful because you can feel the, the energy and the, the, the passion of the people. Like, uh, but coming back to Andrew, I want to just uh, understand um, this album is like a new, like a literally like a new beginning for Andrew because uh, uh, um, Kvile was more like a recorded in a, in a more simple setting, let's say. So yes, it's uh, almost, yeah. Kvile is almost a little bit uh, naive in the recording uh, method. Okay. Uh, we recorded it in our rehearsal studio, so yeah. we we had we had blankets on the wall, <laughs> walls to dampen the sound, and we couldn't record when it rained because the rain was uh, drumming the, on the roof. That's melancholic. <laughs> that's melancholic. Don't forget it. Yeah, yeah, but it's uh, when it pours, it pours. So it's like <laughs> a... <laughs> so with this, uh, with the. Uh, with this the other says to learn the pronunciation it's more like an uh, let's say like an opening for getting more i don't want to say getting more uh, elderly known outside but of course you know these are all the no, I, I, yeah i'm not sure what behind it uh, uh, one of the hardest things in this genre is holding back because uh, it's so it's so easy to want to try to make a bigger sound, yeah, more produced sound, uh, and it's really hard to try to hold it back because the basic thought of El Dream is that it should be quite simple. Yeah, uh, it shouldn't be a big produced sound. Uh, carpets it's just yeah but it's hard it's yeah. really hard because already one year ago when we talked you were starting to record the album and there, there was already the part of Eldrin that was playing at the market that was already let's say left behind let's yeah. say gone and was starting to be the Eldrin of uh, the let's say the, the the stage so now it's uh completely this uh the bore not the bone this um, this person this uh, this version of Eldrin. Mm. The studio album uh, uh, stage, but I think if uh, maybe if there is some market, a you know, performance of market too. <laughs> we will not perform at market. Oh, not but, uh, okay. No, uh, unless it's on the stage. <laughs> okay, and of course at the moment, I mean, you just perform. I mean, the album is already. Um, I want to say it's a quite uh, deep to listen and of course like I said it's a different story while Quivilla was more like a journey but this as well is kind of journey too I would say with that to listen one in a row like from the beginning till the end but you're did you think about some video music video to release or something like that uh, or just uh, release the album at like <laughs> we have plans but the okay one uh, we, uh, we have a couple of plans. Uh, one of them is quite easy to to make happen, and the other one is quite complicated to make happen. So, <laughs> so that's yeah, but that's. I hope we get to make uh, the complicated one a uh, reality because it will be yeah. beautiful thing uh, at least. If my mind gets out, <laughs> it gets out. Don't worry. With all the things you do, for sure, doesn't stay. You are your, your mind. The evening, I think, when you go to sleep, it's empty because with all the things that you do during the day, you go to sleep like okay, there's not nothing else. Yeah, but when when it takes three years to make a video, uh, the song is old. <laughs> so maybe the idea, yeah, but, yeah, but it has to be on on a that's... way particular song so yeah. I just hope we realize the idea and about uh, of course live because apart of course that this summer in, in, in live show there are no plans for a dream at least for now or you have show planned no uh, we now we have lost Thomas uh, he has quit the band and we are now uh, uh, in the process of uh, okay brainwashing a new guy and it's really promising I just uh, uh, okay. yeah it, but playing the, the bowed instruments okay it, 
it's quite easy to get the instrument to sound good, but it's not as easy to make it sound like the feeling. Yeah, it's <laughs> so that, it's some, that, it's something. Yeah. Thomas had some magic uh, in his uh, bow, I think. <laughs> yeah, people so, are bored. Yeah, it's because like you can, uh, you don't need to talk. You can even let your instrument speak, your music speak. You say more than your instrument yeah. sometimes that, that with the but top he, he has the, he has the he has the right mindset and uh, he's really interested uh, and he's really doing his uh, homework. So yeah. I really I believe it will, will be, be good. So we can say that we will see soon a new member of Eldrim. So there is a lot of chance uh, changes going around. As well, yeah. but the main thing is that people that what, what I want the people that you know that is that they can find the last album, uh, of course, in uh, I think uh, social and uh, streaming platform, yeah. Spotify, and whatsoever. There are physical copy of the album or not? We will, we are planning the physical copies now. Okay. Uh, we, are, uh, we are we are talking with a distributor, okay, about, uh, and we, yeah. So there will be physical uh, CDs and uh, vinyl. Okay, okay, that's what, okay. So I can't. I mean, for people, I mean, I think it will, you will announce when they will, will be available soon. When I will have time, I will talk with you because I need a bus to Galarpa and I need the one good because my my Tagalarpa is too light and it's not normal that it's too light the Tagalarpa. I can throw away and it doesn't. It's too light. So I need, too light. You need. Yeah. You want a heavy one. <laughs> yeah, heavy bass tagalarpa, so I can play even with my nails, long nails, <laughs> strong one. <laughs> and only you can do that, believe me. <laughs> and, but it, it should be light, because the one I have, uh, yeah, the, this narrow, yeah, thing there, it's light, but it's it plays good. I trust about you, but this summer I really hope me and uh, Art is gonna be at Midgar's lot. And uh, it'll be a pleasure meeting you and uh, meeting your girlfriend because I didn't chance to have to met her. She's beautiful. Oh. And I love, we love your picture all the time. We fall in love with your picture. You have to do one to yeah. me and me. This, this is, uh, I hope, the end station. It's perfect. You, know, you guys are perfect. amazing. I'm really <laughs> so in love, really amazing. She's you inspire love. I mean, that's true. You inspire love to people, really. And, and the uh, yeah so it, it's beautiful okay, so yes, but thank you so much and i really hope to see you this summer i will do my best because i don't not don't have any plan only meters for this time and uh, finally Midgersblot. yes talk soon and uh, maybe less before the midgers blot maybe and i'll bring my camera and i'll take of photos course. of you or you two together yeah, thank you thank you so much <laughs> have a good rest of the evening it was always a pleasure and uh, congratulations. Thank you. Bye, Espen. Bye. Bye. Bye.